Hey everybody, just want to let you know the discs that arrived in my box the past week. So I got several CDs and one record uh, in the order in which they arrived. The first is the Wild Roots, Wild Roots Sessions Volume 2, which follows last year's Wild Roots Sessions Volume 1, uh, with Victor Wainwright on vocals and quite a few special guests, including Rebo Russell and Lucky Peterson. Next up is Trout Fishing in America, Safe House. It's a duo I've been listening to for several decades now, and they used the time of the pandemic to write new material, and like a lot of artists, performed a series of online concerts, and this is the resulting album. The one record I got was Echo the Strange Mystique. As I understand it, this is the project of one guy who wrote, performed, and produced all of the music on this record. Um, interesting electronic stuff, sort of in the same vein as David Bowie's Low album. Graham James Seasons, also a one-man band, a singer-songwriter originally from New Zealand and currently based in the Netherlands. I saw some live footage of him and he performs, he creates his own loops and performs to those sort of in the same line as uh, Keller Williams. May Earlwine, Tiny Beautiful Things, singer-songwriter based in Michigan, the title of this album coming from the title of a Cheryl Strayed book. John Chi, River of Marigolds, a singer-songwriter based in Ross, California, which is near San Francisco. He's also known for his work in the band Rainmaker. Leah Hyde, the missing fourth guest, Singer-songwriter working in the pop realm. She's from Athens, Greece. And I saw a video from one of the tracks of this album and it got me interested in really good stuff. Amale Hiksa Mia, uh, the project of vocalist Pilar Amale. Amale. Uh, she also plays viola da gambra. Uh, I listened to a couple of tracks on this, just really beautiful stuff. Carles Gutierrez, Tota Sara. Uh, this is the debut solo album from the guitarist, featuring mostly original material. And last but not least, Papa Chubby, Emotional Gangster, also featuring mostly original material in the blues rock realm. So, quite a lot of good stuff to listen to.